How you doing, March Madness betters? Let's get down to brass tacks. How's your bracket feeling? Not that good, huh? Well, that's all right. No one's, no one's really is at this point. However, at least the East Regional has kind of played out as we thought it would. We've got number one, Michigan, number two, Alabama, number four, Florida State, all advancing to the round of 16. And then there's number 11, UCLA, and that's where we're going to start our favorite picks for the East Region Sweet 16 matchups. So the Cinderella Bruins are battling the mighty Crimson Tide. UCLA does a lot of things that could work against the up-tempo Tide, like a slower pace of play, not turning the ball over, and rebounding well. However, Mick Cronin's crew is going to be on ice for the next week after riding three wins in five days. I expected a larger spread for this matchup, and I'm going to give the five points with Bama. As for this total, we all know what Nate Oates' team can do in transition, and they prove that in that one-sided win over slow-paced Maryland. Alabama's going to speed up this game, which isn't too bad for UCLA. Since the Bruins have kind of enjoyed an offensive renaissance during the big dance, they've been extremely efficient on offense, and they're knocking down threes, and that has me going over the total of 143.5 points. So on to number one, Michigan, and number four, Florida State, where Leonard Hamilton's junkyard defense is going to throw a wrench in the well-oiled machine that is the Wolverines' offense. Florida State mixes in different looks on the defensive end, and that's going to force UN to improvise, and that's something the Wolverines aren't great at. I also like what I saw from the Knowles' offense in the second half versus Colorado, and they finally got playing that style after almost a month of missing the mark. So I'm going to go Florida State here. The total for UMFSU is at 144.5 points and opened as high as 148. Despite the big move towards the under, I like a shootout in the Sweet 16. There's so much scoring depth on both rosters. Both teams shot the ball well in the round of 32, and this is going to be a physical battle, which means a surplus of whistles. And that also means points scored from the foul line with the clock stop. So I'm going to go over in Sunday's East Regional matchup between Michigan and Florida State. So for more NCAA tournament picks and predictions, you can visit our March Madness hub page. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Covers, and good luck in the Sweet 16.